RJ Scaringe has just updated us with some of the new cost-saving measures in the R2. And can I just say, I'm so glad he hasn't stopped. Like, this has been going on for weeks, and I'm eating up every single piece of it, detailing the castings and the battery pack and the drive unit and all that. Well, in today's post, he dives into the wiring harness, which already experienced some massive cost savings and complexity reductions on the Gen 2 Rivians, but apparently that didn't stop there. And with this new R2 body harness, they reduced 20 kilograms of overall weight from the R1 body harness and reduced the inline connectors by 60%. And if you don't know what all of those things are, that's okay. I don't either. The important thing to remember here is the R2 has a substantially lower amount of wires and that saves on weight, which makes the vehicle more efficient. And of course, the more important thing, that saves on cost because the R2 has to come a long way down from the current average selling price of R1 vehicles, which is currently around $88,000 down to the R2 starting price of $45,000. So it's good to see part simplicity and part reduction of this caliber in order to hit that price point. But a few days ago, RJ also showcased how their inverter has been simplified. Because the inverter is mounted on the side of their new and improved Maximus drive unit, they're able to minimize the length of the bus bars and they can put all of their processing and power electronics on a single circuit board. And that single inverter chassis seals off the motor cavity from the oil coolant, which is basically an overcomplicated way of saying they've reduced the number of parts in the inverter and the drive unit and all of the parts that essentially keep that motor together and cooled. So not only has the motor reduced in part count, but now RJ is saying even the inverter has reduced its part count by 41% compared to the Gen 2 R1 products. All of these little details are going to matter for the R2 to hit the price point they're saying, and I'm very thankful that Rivian is getting this detailed into the very, very tiny things that make an EV what it is. And it's clear that they've learned a lot from their R1 products, but I do think there's a good sign that the R2 has a clear path towards profitability because the R1 Gen 2 vehicles are already well on their way towards profitability. And in fact, even subtracting the ZEV credits, last quarter Rivian did actually report a profit, at least a gross one when it comes to the R1 vehicles. Of course, there's still a lot of spending going on to get the R2 into production, but thanks to the joint venture with Volkswagen and everything, Rivian has lots of cash on hand to get this vehicle out and in the market. And with their great software and their great adventure aesthetic, I think the R2 is going to be a very, very popular vehicle and probably give the Model Y some much needed competition, which it doesn't really have much in the US right now. But I think a lot of Americans are going to be happy to have this as an alternative option. And it kind of makes sense why Rivian is just going all in when it comes to ironing out all the details for the R2. Does this kind of nerdy information get you guys as excited as it gets me? Feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.